Hello everyone, today is Wednesday. I will be doing another vlog for you guys. I'll be taking out through my entire day. It's currently 8.30 a.m. and I'm heading to my 9 a.m. class today. I have three classes. Uh, I'm super hungry, but I can't get breakfast because I barely have time. I woke up a little late, so that's a punishment I get for not sleeping on time, but that's fine. Right now I'm heading to my first class. My first class today is the story of Earth. I have once a week, it's like a science course. This explains Earth like starting from like 13 billion years ago. It's a very interesting class. Anyways, I will see you guys. Everyone, uh, it's freezing here, so I have my hood on. Don't mind that. But one thing I want to mention is like, for example, you guys see this, this is Hudson Hall. There's like different halls. When you come to America, 90% of the time, if you live on campus, you basically, um, the, the different buildings are called different halls. For example, in here in Hopkins, we have uh, Gilman Hall, Hudson Hall, Krieger Hall. And these halls are basically named after these famous people who either went to the school, were like the headmasters of the school, or they have made a large donation to the school to have a, a building built after them. So for example, the one that I'm standing by right now, the one I showed you guys, uh, Hudson Hall, that's my scholarship name. So I have, I've got, I got two types of scholarship and one of them is called the Hudson Trust Scholarship, which covers most of my uh, tuition. So just a little history for you guys, a little information for you guys in case you guys end up in an American university. You guys will know that each of your buildings are named after someone. My next class is in Olin Hall, which is located right there. Hi everyone, I just got to my class and there's no one here yet. It's, I think, 8.45. Usually class starts at 9, so everyone starts showing up in like 10 minutes. I mean, not everyone. In this class, there's only two people. It's just me and another girl and then the professor. I don't know why nobody's at this class, because maybe it's because it's only one credit, meaning it's once a week. Um, so maybe people didn't want to take it, but I wanted to maximize my credit limit for the semester. And I decided to do 17 credits, so this was one of the classes that I needed to take in order to fulfill that credit requirement. Um, this is the classroom environment. It's, it's a small room because it's only two people for the class. Um, depending on how big the class is, they give us different rooms, lecture halls, so forth and so on. I just finished my class. I am super hungry. I had not had dinner yesterday. And this is probably going to be my breakfast and lunch. I got myself a burger, eggs, a turkey bacon, and a regular dragon for lemonade. I will eat up and I will probably head down to either my dorm or to the library to study. I will see you guys in the next shot. I just got back from breakfast. I'm in the common lounge. Common lounge is basically this place where uh, we can hang out. It's, I just have a little work to do before my class. My next class is at 3. It's from 3 to 3.50. So I have another 4 hours approximately. And the thing with my 3 o'clock class is going to be on Zoom because the professor got COVID. Um, so it's going to be on Zoom. After that, I have a class from 4 to 6. So for now, I will just work on things I have to work on. And I have a few students in Uzbekistan. I'm going to just help them prepare for their exams and everything. And I will see you guys later. I just got out of my dorm. I finished studying for some of my classes. Now I'm heading to the gym. I'm going to go work out, probably play some volleyball. And I gotta stop saying what I'm gonna do next because sometimes like I, I try to say, oh, today I'm gonna do this, this, this. And I don't know where my plans change depending on what my classes is, how I'm feeling, my mood. Um, right now I'll head to the gym and my class, the one on Zoom is at three o'clock. I can be in the gym and join the Zoom call from there. So I'll do that and I'll let you guys know what happens next. Hey everyone, I lost track of time. I forgot that I had that Zoom meeting at 3, so I got out of the gym a little late. Here's my Zoom now. Uh, I'm on Zoom with my computer, and now I'm just walking back to my dorm. I have a class at 4, but I'll probably just leave from my dorm. The only bad thing is now I have to listen to this lecture as I walk. Thank God there's a Wi-Fi everywhere in campus, or else I'll be toast. Because they take attendance in like the first 2-3 minutes. If I'm not there, there's no point of me being there. So, I'll see you guys later. Currently 
3.55. I'm heading to my next class, which starts at 4. I'm rushing because it's a little far from where I live, but we'll be there on time. After this class, I'm going to go get dinner with my friends, and I will see you guys later. So I just got back to my dorm room from the dining hall. I was not able to film at the dining hall because it was so busy. It's dinner time. Everyone was at like the dining hall and it was just so crowded that I was unable to film. Um, however, I am back at my dorm. It's, it was freezing outside. I ran to my dorm. Although I'm wearing layers of clothes, it's still very, very cold. It's like negative three outside. And on my last video, I really emphasized the fact that we have no time for everything which is true, but only on the days you have a lot of work or on the weekdays. On the weekends, it tends to be a little less work and you can like go out with your friends, you can hang out, you can do different trips. For example, I tend to go bowling on my weekends or uh, on my weekends, I tend to go back to go back home to New York. Um, so there are different things you can do, of course, if you are free and you have nothing to do. Um, so if there's any questions you guys have, like, I don't know about the lifestyle, the food, where do you sleep? How's your dorm? Can you um, explain the difference between living on campus versus living outside of campus? These are all questions you guys might have in your minds. And if you really want me to discuss them, you can put them in the comment section below, or you can just let me know in general, and I will try to answer all the questions you guys have. Um, and again, this is my first time doing these vlogs. So yeah, I might be a little awkward next to the camera or I might not be able to be as comfortable as somebody else. However, it takes time and with time, I will be ready and I will be able to make good content for you guys and make sure that it's all quality worth and it's and you guys are learning something day by day from my videos. Uh, I don't want it to just be like, oh, I, I got out of here. I got out of here. I know that's how it seems now, but in the future, I want to make it so that it's educational and it's not only um, me taking you through my day and you guys learn something day by day. So in the future, when you are coming to America, this can help you in some way or shape or form. So for today, this is over um, and I will see you guys later. Peace.